Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. We are on a new map today, and it's, it says it's the first Australian, although it does say first Australian 16X map. It's called, uh, what's it called? Broad Acres. And it is, uh, well, it's farm bigger, go home, is what it is. I'm going to take a quick look at it. We're not going to get into it in, in any detail, but I want to I want to see what it's all about. I haven't actually uh, been around it yet. I kind of took a quick look from the air, and uh, we're going to get into this. Just take a quick look at it. So we start here on the map, right in the center of the of the map, and it's a little farming area. Now there's a couple of farming areas here. Uh, there's this little area. Way to the west, there's by field 17, there's another little farming area. And by saying little, there's nothing little on this map. Clear to the east and kind of southeast, it, where it says BGA, there is another farm, and that's the, the uh, animal farm. And if you look, you'll see cattle, sheep, and pigs right above it on field uh, 7 and, and 6, uh, or near field 7 and 6. Okay, so the story of this is that the father is retiring, and all he wants to do is take care of the animals. The son, if he wants to inherit, has to prove his worth and do the farming. And that's kind of the background story they, that these uh, guys have put together on this. They claim they've been working on this for over a year, and I can believe it. It's huge. Um, there are a couple of things. Now, when you, when you download the map, you do get a PDF file that gives you a complete manual for the map. Now, what they've done is they've put a, together a manual with pictures of everything. There's a there's a picture of the sugar factory, and it's got uh, words and arrows pointing what where you do what with it. So output here, input there, and uh, it's kind of nice. Each place has a picture. Of what of what you can see, the dairy uh, has a picture. Output cheese, output milk, input milk on the picture. The livestock market, buy and sell cows, buy and sell sheep, buy and sell pigs. In the picture of that, the hay sale area. There's the Case Vehicle Dealership, which is huge. Um, the forestry area. And it just goes on and on and on. So I'm going to take a quick look at it. First of all, I'm going to take a quick look from the air. Now, there's not that much to see from the uh, from the air except for the town and the actual farms. As you can see from the map, the rest is all farmland. So let me grab my helicopter if I can find it. I think I had one. I like using the there it is. Now where are we? Okay, we're we're on the cattle farm with the helicopter. So we'll take a quick look. And the thing I like about the helicopter, especially when a map is this big, you really can't see anything from the ground. You need to get a good look uh, from the air. Okay, so this is the look at this. This is the cattle farm, the little cattle farm. Uh, everything is really big. So let's just take a quick look at this. As you can see, there's lots of storage on each of the farms. Uh, there's the BGA uh, plant over here. And uh, it's a pretty good size as well. So looking at the map again, we're at the south end. The chickens are way down south. I'm not going to go down there just to look at chickens. Trying to make this a short video, or at least a timely one. And so we've got some equipment here that's available. Lots and lots of storage tanks. How, how anxious to find out how these work. There's the input and the output down there. You've got more tanks on the uh, north side here. And we're coming up on the cattle area right here. Look how big it is. Now, if you look to the right, you'll notice that there's trees, and they go as far as I can see. The whole map is surrounded by this, so there's forestry goes all the way around the map. That whole border is forestry. 
All right, so there's the cattle area. This is the, uh, well, still the cattle area, I guess. All right, got to get rid of that. Okay, so cattle area, feeding troughs. A silage. And, and now that's interesting. That's the one I use. I have a placeable of that one. All right, more tanks. We'll figure out what those are at a later date. I just want to do a quick look at the map. Uh, just to see what it's all about. You can see it's huge. This must be the sheep farm here. Cool. Yeah, look, look, look. There's the wool pads down there where you pick up all your wool. Everything's automatic, it looks like. Nice and clean fences. And then we should be coming up on the pig area. Now you notice all the roads are dirt. There's no cement or asphalt roads. They're all dirt. There's the pig area. Alright, from this point I'm going to go center map. Again, there's not much else to see uh, besides the farms in the town except for farmland. You notice there are fences around all the... Uh, there's some of cotton. Oh, let's look at that while we're traveling. Okay, so we have the typical uh, vanilla uh, fruits, uh, except for they've added, uh, well, no, that oats is in 17. Um, let's see, we also have rye, millet, carrot, triticale, cotton, and onions. And then, as far as production, you've got all the, the different grains wool the new stuff cotton there's carrots there is onions we've got cheese and milk and flour uh, some kind of alcohol looks like sugar we have again some kind of alcohol either wine or whiskey uh, there are grapes so I know there's wine at least We've got the different kinds of flour. That's wheat flour, barley flour, and corn flour. We've got bread. There are tomatoes. There are pallet sales. We've got lettuce and cauliflower and red cabbage. And strawberries and raspberries. We've got the uh, meats like sausage and beef. Uh, looks like seeds, uh, logs, pallets, or log boards, I should say. Or pallet boards, pallets. I don't know what that is for sure. It doesn't look like it can be sold. This must be wood chips. We have sugar, and I can't remember what they call that byproduct of sugar. So there's some production, not a lot, but enough. It's a big enough map, I'll tell you that. Now, again, let's see how fast we can get to that center area there, because there's really not that much to see uh, in the in the major part of the map. But I want to get over to the other farm on the west side there and take a look at that. There are trains, and they look uh, to be workable. And the only reason I say that is because at a cursory glance at the map uh, flying over it here it looks like the trains go right through the farm uh, areas so I'm hoping that that means they're useful to the farmer <clears throat> okay again this farm here is just solid solid storage 
Wow, that's a lot of silos. And I'm assuming this is another farm area because it looks like, you know, with fields that large, you'd have to have a lot of storage close by. Yeah, look, there's another uh, piece of equipment there. And look, see, the trains go right through the farmland, or the farm um, area, the working area for the farm. Cool. Looks like there's some kind of tanks out on the road. Hopefully it's fertilizer and such. All right, and we're gonna keep heading west here. What I want you to look at is the size of the fields. Now, one of the things that the PDF has to say is what you can kind of look for on the map as uh, far as operation. Okay, they talk about in the PDF mod conflicts and mod uh, map conflicts and things like that, required mods. And their purpose in that is to say, look, if you're gonna play this map, don't have another map in the folder. You're gonna have problems if you do, or you could have problems. If you do have problems, it could be mod related. Some mods not getting along together. It's the standard fare. You know, it, we all, all of us that use mods know that they can con uh, conflict sometimes. You notice that there's fence lines around all the farm uh, land. <clears throat> he does make a comment about course play. And the comment is this. It's, in, it's important info. Do not save field generated courses. These files are very large and will cause game fail to load or to be slow. Slow to load or load or to be slow running. So <clears throat> what he means by that You've seen me lose, use course play quite a little bit. I will generate a course, you know, starting in the northwest, heading south, uh, so many meters on the equipment, and then I'll generate it, and then I will save that course. What he's saying is don't save it, because if you do on fields that big, it's gonna cause a problem. All right, this is the other farmland. I don't know what to call it. It's a, a just a farm, I guess. A staging area for a farm. This one has a farmhouse. Whoa! That wasn't good. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was funny. I hit the wrong button, as you can see. I'll try that again. I wanted to come down and I hit the get off button. Then I hit the get back on button. And that kind of caused a problem. Um, Alright, let's 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 get over in the combine I'll show you. For those of you that aren't familiar with course play. Alright, so you, you do, you get in a field, you're going to set up your course. So you go up here to generate the course. And you choose the field. You choose the field. You choose the side the piece piece of equipment how wide it is the starting location southwest heading north uh, whether you want to headland or not and then you generate the course here once you generate the course it can use it and look how long it's taking to generate that course because these fields are so big okay then after you generate it it wants to know if you want to save it what they're suggesting is no, don't save it. It takes up too much memory because of the size of the fields. The only thing that means is every time you do a field, you have to regenerate the, the, the field. Once you've generated it, you can use it because see, it's a temporary course until you save it. So you would just not save it and then the next time you do field number one, you'd have to regenerate the course. That's all they're saying. Good advice, especially on something this big. I've, I've played some uh, farms, just 4K farms, 
or four X farms, where it took forever to generate a course because the fields were so big. Okay, so this is the other farm, and again, it's just pretty much <clears throat> farm storage here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to land this guy. I just took off, I know, I wasn't thinking. The reason I'm going to do this is if you look at the map, we've pretty much seen, <laughs> we've we've seen the southeast, the center, and the west. The only thing left is the town up there. The rest is all fields. So rather than fly all the way over there, I'm just going to uh, buy another helicopter because I think the farm shop is at the, is at the uh, town. So I'm going to buy another helicopter and we're going to jump in it and take a look at the town area. Not that one. That one. Okay. So where are we? This is the uh, dealership right here. So looking at the map we're in the northeast of the city. So let's just kind of fly around. There's the uh, the dealership. Looks like some kind of, of storage area here. And it's even got a canister crane. That's cool. Okay, we're going to head south here and just see what we've got in town. I'll have to apologize for my voice. There's some kind of pollen around. I've got a little bit of allergies. <clears throat> it's kind of... You're going to hear it in my voice. This is the, uh, the cattle area, the slaughterhouse, right here. So you bring your cattle, your sheep, your pigs. Looks like they've got babies in there, too. Look at that. Cool. And I'm not quite sure what this is, if it's some kind of production or not. This looks like the dairy right here. And I don't see any production there. But there's a picture again. They took pictures of everything to show you where everything's at. We've got the milk and butter here, or cheese and butter here. And of course the milk goes in over there. Uh, we've got a sugar place here. That's where you bring your sugar beets. Whoa! A little bit of steam coming out of the smokestack. And I think also, if you notice down there, you'll see a conveyor belt. So this must be where you make your sugar, uh, which would make sense. It's a sugar factory. But I've seen maps before that have uh, a place where you take your sugar beets, but you don't make sugar. Now look at that! Oh my God! Holy smokes! Is this all grain? Look at... This must be the different kinds of grain. Oh my God! This must be a sale uh, area for, for your grain. Oh my! That's huge! Let's head north. We're kind of... We're kind of zigzagging through town here just to see what we can see and now we're coming to another thing this might be part of our farm because we own the fields just proper to this place so this might be another part of our of our farm for farm storage all right ne right next to the dealer we've got what looks to be uh, lumber production pallets and boards looks like and there's a uh, logging train there that looks to be functional so that's why I said it looked to me like the trains were actually going to be able to be used some maps they're not they just drive around this looks like some kind of a storage area now I noticed when I flew over that that train has flatbeds on it. Wonder if we're going to be able to haul like uh, things that uh, require pallets. All right, let's just head into town here. Take a quick look. There looks to be muddy areas. I don't know if this has 
has the mud mod on it or not. Looks like a gas station and looks like there's a sail point right there for fuel. So we must be able to make fuel. This looks like some kind of a uh, biodiesel, biofuel. So it looks like we can make fuel. Oh yeah. Looks like a output and an input for uh, fuel. Yeah, there's slurry over there. All right, that's cool. Let's see what we have here. Uh, looks like some kind of eatery with uh, town zombies. Coopers. Oh, they're advertising beer and, and stuff. So this must be a bar. Um, what would this be? A distillery, maybe? Let's get around the front here and see if we can see a sign of some kind. Well, I don't know. Kind of looks like some kind of production, but can't quite see what it is. Eh, something to discover. All right. Moving on. Okay, here's something here. What is this? see any signs but you know what that could be it could be the output for whatever's input over there this whole place here might be some kind of a brewery all right and then it looks like we've got some kind of a uh, warehouse toll trucking here over here we have a slaughterhouse okay so this appears to be no, maybe not. Maybe this isn't the slaughterhouse. Maybe this is... Well, I don't know. I don't see any output. Wait a minute. Maybe it's in there. No, I don't know what's going on. Something, though, because there is a... Uh, there is a counter on each side there's counters so this must be where you bring your animals and uh, pick up your uh, your meat your sausage and stuff all right let's head uh, this way a little bit more town it's like a huge gas station here and I don't know something over there Looks like it's an empty lot here if you want to put a placeable down. Elders. Is that a farm supply or something? Could be. Then we've got your gardens here. Now this is interesting. Look at that. There's a lot of stuff down here. And there's no output. Where do you get your... Where do you get your product? I don't see an output on those. Oh look, there's a compost. Oh, I bet these things take compost. There's a compost machine. Cool. What's this over here? Oh wait a minute, there's something in here. Let's see what this is. Let's see what, oh look. Oh, tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tom is this whole damn thing tomatoes? Oh my god, you must produce a lot. Oh, look. Red cabbage. So, tomatoes one side, red cabbage. Wow, you must make a lot of stuff. This is huge. Oh my god. That's sweet. Okay, os veg. So this is your vegetable stuff here. Cool. More silos. More silos. 
All right, what is this? Now this, oh, I know what this is. This is the bakery. So you put your three different flours. You have wheat flour, barley flour, and corn flour. You input, uh, and then you get uh, bread over here. Okay, so yeah, that's cool. Tip Top Bakery says so right on the sign. And I don't know what the heck this place is. More storage of some kind. Looks like something's made here. Let's see. Oh, is this a winery? Or, or this is a winery. Yeah, that's what this is. Grapes or something go here. Water, whatever. That's what this is. Alright, what's over here? Wolf, Wolf Blass. Well, that doesn't sound like wine, but maybe, maybe. Yeah, see, there's a. Okay, that's what this is. It's a winery. There's a tasting place. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, we're almost out of town here. Let's see what's over yonder. Got a little bit more town. Got some town zombies driving around. Village butcher, wood fire, H&R block, do your taxes, subway, have a sandwich for lunch. Uh, Lynch real estate. We got your village butcher, wood fire, and subway. It must be storage for them. You can sell your eggs there. Uh, this is, must be a good time had by all. Drive through bottle. Drive through bottle -o. Oh, you can get your liquor on the go, huh? That's a hotel. Get your booze and hotel. Are you kidding? That's sweet. Booze on the go, huh? And if you run out of money, there's a bank machine right there. What do we have here? Uh, oh, Mickey D's. We got a, a McDonald's. Sweet. You can sell eggs at McDonald's. And a KFC. And you can sell eggs there too. Cool. Some kind of garden to the left. A shell station. Again, it looks like you can sell fuel here. There's some kind of an input there. There's a church and a graveyard. And it looks like we got a little construction going on here. Now, that brings us to the three fields that we own up north here. These are our three fields here. As you can see, there are barbed wire fences around every field. And you got no turning ra radius there. So you pretty much you, you won't be able to use uh, just hiring a worker, I don't think, because they won't have room to turn around. You're going to have to use course play and do headlands around. So look at these fields now, though. On most maps, this would be a large field. These are some of the smaller fields on the map. If you look at the map, take those three, 22, 21, and 20, Look how small they are compared to 19, 14, 13, 9, even 18. You could put a dozen of these fields in one of those big uh, fields. Amazing. That's just amazing. Play it big or go home. All right. Now, let me drop this thing down the hard way. And I'm going to run over and take a quick look at the trains before we go. We've pretty much seen the map, but I want to see what the trains will do. Um, I want to see if they're actually functional. So, let's see. I think there's two of them. Yeah, there's two of them. Now, this one happens to be where? Way down south. 
All right, we're in the southwest, and it looks like we've got grapes as far as you can see. Wow. And this train has uh, some flatbeds on the back, one flatbed on the back, and four grain trailers. If I play this one, I might have to put a few more cars on. It doesn't seem like it's enough if you're hauling that kind of grain. Let's get this thing up to speed. I've got this thing set that would do about 117. And again, notice that you've got logging all the way around the map. On a map this size, if you like to log, you've got logs that you couldn't cut in 100 years. All right, this thing's up to speed. I want to see what the train looks like when it gets to the actual farm area. If it's going to be functional. I think it is. Good thing this train will do 117. Yeah, again, they've got pictures of uh, of every place that you can do some kind of production. Like I'm looking at one right now where you've got storage for pallets and uh, input sale of wood chips. And the picture shows pointers and words saying input here, output there, sell here. It's really kind of nice. You can look at the picture and see exactly what to do. There's a, uh, the town also has its own board making facility, if not wishing to do it in the forest area. <clears throat> you can do it in the town, the town has its own. Okay, this is one of the farm areas, this is the one way west, and it looks like the train goes right through the farm, uh, and it looks like it picks up, it picks up uh, stuff from the uh, farm. Cool. Let's get this back up to speed. There's the wood marking. You can mark the wood if you wish to cut. Walk up to any tree in the forest and hit the M key, and it will place a big red X on the tree. Easy to mark which tree area you wish to harvest. Okay, so there's a place called the Wool Shed and Sale. This is the area for the sale and storage of wool. Wool can be transported by truck or train. There is an offload area for the train at the rear of the site. So that's what the flatbed cars are for. Your decision to sell wool, wool will be decided on the market value. Each company has its current market price in the PDA. Choose which one suits and sell under the signs. And then it shows you inside the building which sale. There's a landmark wood sale, there's elders wood sale, and there's wool export sale. And it distinctly shows you where you would sh uh, sell each one of those depending on the market price. There is a picture of the vineyard and the winery and what to do there. Where are we at? We're heading, uh, we're finally heading into the town area and I think that's where this uh, train starts is the town area because when we were there I saw, there it is, I saw that ramp right there at that storage place. Well if it doesn't start here maybe it ends here. I don't know I'm maybe going too fast to stop. I didn't realize I was getting that close. But anyway, this is an offload area. It looks like there's a uh, conveyor belt. And uh, let's just keep going around here. We've got a, just a few more minutes to spend. Let's just take a look and see where this guy goes. Okay, here's another part that's your farm. And again, you can drop stuff off. 
Oh, I, this must be for the for the selling. Really, from the train. Oh, how do you decide where it goes? Maybe it's storage, and you would get. I don't know. We'll we'll just have to look at that. All right, we're heading west again. So we're I think we're pretty much heading right back to the uh, southwest area where we started. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to that center farm just to see where the train goes on the farm there and then it looks like the rest of it is just a train trip around to the corner where we started. All right, they're using the uh, the train to get the grapes from the vineyards to uh, the uh, the actual winery. Yeah, it looks like uh, yeah that that goes through there. This is now just going to go south and then west again to that corner, southwest cor or northwest corner. Uh, I'm sorry, southwest corner where we started. Let's jump in the other train and see what it does. Now it's starting at the same location as the other one. This one is the logging uh, train but it also has flatbeds. Oh, that's weird. Got a little bit of glitch there. Uh, it's also got flatbeds and it actually has more grain uh, cars than the other one does. And it goes through the same place here so you can dump stuff here and pick it up over there it looks like so you dump this stuff in one place and the trucks can pick it up from there and take it where it needs to go I'm assuming this is gonna go uh, south as well and then maybe east instead of west because I think this train will go all the way down to the sugar factory and around I think I don't know The information for the how to use the winery is very, uh, very specific. There's like six or seven pictures of each stage of, of, of from getting the grapes to the to the winery and actually making it. So here we are in the middle farm here. Same thing, looks like it uh, has the ability to be functional. Oh, there's our other train. I hope he's got this fixed. Ah! Yeah, we're just gonna go right through it. Cool. No collisions. Insurance would be too high. Now, do you remember that place? I'm uh, as as we're traveling. I'm taking the occasion to read the the, uh, the PDF file. You remember the place where all the trucks were, the toll company, where all the trucks uh, were in a warehouse. That's actually a logistics center. The toll logistics center is the heart of Broad Acres storage area. All accepted goods are listed below. The toll's logistics trailer must be used to bring bring and in bring in and load goods you can input beer wine wine small grape juice wheat flour barley flour corn flour homogenized milk tomatoes lettuce red cabbage cauliflower raspberries and strawberries sausage meat and cheese wool empty pallets and sugar all from that uh, distribution center that we saw that's pretty sweet. Then in the back, there were some more trucks. Those are the output areas. It says output area. All inputs are recorded in your PDA. All right, here we are at the uh, at the cattle farm. I'm calling it the cattle farm. It's because where all the animals are. 
and again it looks like it's functional we can take things out and put them on the train and get them into town where they need to be sold and then it looks like we're just going to go uh, north until we get back to where we were in town so there is a that biodiesel was a refinery and it shows you where to put things where to put the fuel where to put the forage uh, where the canola goes the digistate output where the fuel comes out so it's all pretty concise now this train is just going to go back to where it started let me go back to this guy we're going to quickly fly back into town now that I know because when I flew over that place that had all the trucks, I thought it was just pretty. I didn't know it was functional. But this is where you can uh, store everything and decide where it needs to go. And that's this place right here. Now these three trailers, or four trailers here in the, in the back, these things right here, that's your output. And over on the other side is your input. And it says you have to use one of the trucks. I wonder if it's that one. Well, you'll have to read it, but it says something about <coughs> using one of the trucks as an input. Huh. Yeah, I didn't know that was functional. I thought that was uh, just for show. Huh. Um, I'm thinking that, well, wait, no, wait a minute. There is a, what's that down there? Can we actually get in there? I can't seem to, is it opening? It is. You don't hold the button. I was holding the button. All right. So you come in here, I guess. Wow. You don't actually drive through here, do you? I wouldn't think. That's just a door there. Huh. Well, however it works, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it is functional. All right. That's just an entrance. Yeah, it said something. The toll tra the toll logistics trailer must be used to bring in and load the goods. Does that mean that we actually have um, a trailer, a toll trailer? Let's see. Let's look in uh, tippers and see if there was something included with the map. I don't see anything. Huh. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Is there anything different? Well, this is something that you can work out once you get the map. If you decide to uh, to get it and play it. I don't see anything special. So it, it's... Uh, what it could be... The toll logistics trailer, not the truck. It says the trailer. I was reading it right the first time. So what I'm thinking is you have to use the trailer, probably this one by its lonesome over here, as an input. Somehow. So it's something that we'll need to uh, figure out. All righty. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I know it was short uh, for such a big map, but I just wanted to do a quick look at it and see what it was all about. The thing is huge. Now, I say that about Corn Belt every time I play it, but this truly is. My goodness. So, uh, yeah, if you, want to, if you want to play this map, I'll put a uh, download link in the description below, and you can check it out for yourself. Now, remember, a map this size 
It may take a pretty good sized computer to run it. We'll see. Mine seemed to be just fine with it. So anyway, I hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like, share it with a friend, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you back on the farm in the next episode. Happy farming.